Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Okay, 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 I'm gonna paint a portrait with Felix. Okay. Uh, let's see. The, the colors, colors I have here are titanium white. Titanium white, cadmium yellow, cadmium orange, cadmium red, ultramarine blue, and Mars black. Okay, my brushes are just synthetic, synthetic brushes. Usually, uh, mostly you just finger brushes. And I have some round brushes here. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna start with the drawing. I'm gonna mix a little bit of orange and black. I check out the distance from the eyebrow to the nose, from the nose to the cheek, to the chin. And it's usually the same distance, you know. If you check out any uh, book that like you find with the Loomis method, you're going to find out all those measurements. Okay, just sketching really fast. Usually we sketch, it's better to sketch with straight lines. You know, it's easy to copy straight lines and then just make uh, the end curves, lines, okay, something like that, it could be enough. What about now? It's a little bit better. Can you can you still hear me? Oh, uh, okay. We got basically gray here, a bluish gray. At the beginning I used a lot of water obviously because I want just to my first first layer to be transparent uh, in case I make a mistake in case I want to change something it's just easier to change when well, we don't have too much paint on the canvas and as soon as I'm, I'm okay with the colors values I, I have here I'm gonna start adding more paint and it's up to anyone how much paint we add Here is going to be enough for me for mixing my colors. Uh, this is a this is canvas on a panel, okay. And I usually use this the same canvas to mix the colors. So just one side as a palette. Okay. Oh, hello, George. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Now it's perfect. No echo now. Okay, thank you. Okay, I was, you know, trying to move uh, the, my setup here, and looks like I'm, I, I did something. You know, I made a mistake moving things that I don't know. You know, but at the end, I was trying to just to put the volume up. Okay. I got this pretty transparent, you know, color. Here too. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange. Um, I'm squinting down my eyes. Just I see this. That's pretty dark. Looks like a triangular shape. When I see something like this, is kind of easy to copy. That's pretty good, you know, because what I do always is try to simplify. I simplify everything that I see to just simple, flat shapes. Could be, uh, I prefer to kind of try to see geometrical shapes, like rectangles, triangles. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna add more orange here. Now I'm gonna start just mixing one color for the skin. Okay, a flat color is gonna is gonna be okay. Uh, uh, usually a simple color for the skin is mixing orange with it could be raw umber, it could be blue, it could be black. The intention is knock down the orange. You know, the skin color is a kind of an orangey color. It could be more reddish, yellowish, but the end is just an orangey color. Okay, uh, for example, I have this orange here. I could add blue, like I said, or black. So many, so many people just don't like to use black, blue, or raw umber. Could be a good option. You no, know, mix a little bit just to be sure that you got a neutral color. Not too orangey, not too knock down, not too gray down. You know. We can start with a mid-tone. Okay, now obviously we can start just painting lights, mid-tones and shadows from the very beginning. But, so, we st I mean, we can just start with the way I'm doing right now, just one color. It's transparent, okay? If you love to add a lot of paint, I could suggest you that wait a little bit. You're gonna have a lot of the time just to put a lot of paint, but you gotta be sure first about getting the values that the drawing is okay, and that at least you got a base color that's kind of put you closer to the skin color you want to you wanna paint. Okay. If, if you think it's too saturated, just let it dry and repaint again. Okay, don't worry about that. Don't, don't, I mean, it's acrylic. Acrylic dries faster. And that's pretty good when we just, uh, we're afraid of mixing colors. Yeah, we just gotta let it dry. Or you can use a hair dryer. Yeah, it's, it's okay. <clears throat> now, hello Marius, hello Ben, Michael, hello Joanne. Okay. Let's 
see I got this color and you know I think it's obviously it looks pretty orangey I'm gonna add a touch of yellow touch of white okay now you can, I can start just paint over again painting over again just A little bit of yellow. Let's see. Now this color looks more yellowish. Yeah. So it's better when we have we we have something on the canvas because now we can compare. You know, it's I think everybody's just it's for everybody easy to see. Hey, your color is too orangey, too reddish. Eh? Yeah, that's a good thing. Imagine that you're painting. Now you're able to compare your own the color and just make make a change. Just change it. Okay. Well, we can just continue doing that. You know, I add more yellow touch of white because I add in you know water to make it pretty liquid pretty transparent you don't see that this color here is gonna stay here that much you see what happens the result here is the transparency it's kind of a, 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 a mixture between layers. I'm mixing this color here with the color that it was here on the face. Now you think it looks closer? Yeah. Okay. Now we can start just mixing more and more colors. And if somebody wants to just get pretty close to the skin color, it's going to be just about time okay spend more time mixing and because this is acrylic maybe you can use a retarded or use you know any brand that dries slower okay somebody has uh, any question just let me know I'm gonna try to do my best to answer any question okay I'm just thinking now I'm comparing I'm thinking about my drawing yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna mix again orange and black. Oh, I need to spray some water on my paint. They dry slower when you have a good quantity of paint, a lot of quantity of paint on the palette, they dry pretty slow. Okay. I just drawing right now. I just thinking about linear drawing and thinking about proportions and thinking about measurements. Stepping back a bit, or well, leaning back because I'm painting. I mean, I sit on a chair. When I paint, stand up. I usually, you know, I step back 
more. <coughs> I'm squinting down my eyes, comparing okay, Gracias, saludos, de, saludos desde Ecuador, Chonder, gracias going pretty slow because you know as I painted this uh, let's say I'm just painting a darker value I'm still comparing and trying to see if something is wrong now what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a cell phone <coughs> oh my god I don't know where's my cell phone okay to use it use it uh, what I usually do I use a cell phone as a black mirror Okay. No. Okay. As you draw one thing that is pretty is pretty good. Draw positive and negative spaces. Okay. Here, for example, you put your brush on top of the photograph. Let's say on the tip of the nose here. Okay. Check out the shape that is here. Try to draw that shape. Okay, the same here between the mouth and the nose. There is a shape here. Now, when we draw, we ha I mean, we should do that all the time. Draw positive and negative spaces all the time. It's not just for one drawing. It's not like this, this drawing I'm gonna do this and no. It's just all the time. Okay, I, that's what I do. I mean, I, I mean, I'm suggesting just things that I do. It's the same here. If you draw this as a triangle, and then you draw this as a, another shape. One of this one, <coughs> this one is going to be a positive, positive space, and this one a negative space, or vice versa. I'm going to start painting some lighter values on the face, mixing orange and white, touch of yellow. More yellow. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker, a little bit of orange, a touch of blue, touch of yellow. What's the kind of medium did you use? Thank you. Uh, I'm just using uh, a question from Victor. Uh, I'm just using water, just water. Okay, this is acrylic and just water. I just worry because, I mean, I know that there are a lot of mediums, maybe not a lot, but I know that there are some mediums, and I think they work, they work pretty good, but for me, it's just like, uh, 
Uh, this may be it's just me, you know, I don't try that much, so many things. When I paint with oil paints, basically I just use linseed oil. When I use linseed oil, when I use a medium, it's linseed oil. For acrylics, when I use a medium, it's just water. Okay, I'm not thinking about acrylic like, hey, uh, like I hate acrylic that dry faster. No. I want just acrylic does what it does perfectly. What does, you know, what's that? Just the dries faster. See? Yeah? I take advantage of that. I don't want to change that. That's why I don't use any medium. more orange Like this reflected light here. Maybe I should change the color here, make it more bluish. What if I change that? I'm gonna try, okay? And let's see. If I don't like it, I'm just going to change it again. I think that's going to add something more to the painting if I add uh, one more color, you know, because just just about the skin color, the background and the orange. That's it. If at some point I think it doesn't work, I would change it. Okay. Now sometimes I paint, I make a change, I do something like this, and as soon as I lay down a new color, I think it's not gonna work. Okay. Now I don't do anything. I just continue painting, and I see what happens. I don't stop myself. Like that's my first impression. No. I gotta just stop, I gotta, uh, you know, step back, I gotta see if that color is working a little bit. I just, I need to kind of let, let, let the color sink in, you know, and then, hmm, and then after maybe 10 minutes or maybe more, I could see if I change it back or not. That means what I'm trying to say, to say is that I don't follow my first impression my own first impression sometimes is not oh my god what do you do that's not gonna work and I said I said to myself shut up let the color there for a few minutes let's see what happens in just a few minutes no now okay oh Mary saying I'm not so sure that I'm not so I'm not sure that I understood what negative space me mean oh yeah I mean when we as uh, when we paint something like here, the contour of the face. You know, we're painting the contour of the face. From the contour to the face. What is left, you know, here in the background is that we, what we call a negative space. Okay, now, we, when we draw this, we're drawing this. As an exercise, our training, as we train ourselves, we, uh, it's always an advice to say, hey, draw the face that you see, but at the same time, draw 
the shape that is created on the background. Yeah? That's the nerve space. And that's, the, I mean, for me, that works pretty good. Okay. And I've been doing that, you know, all the time. If you like my paintings and you see if I got something, something good, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm just let, let, let it, letting everybody know knows that what I do, and what I keep doing the same again and again because I mean, there's usually a, there's usually a lot of repetition when we paint. Okay, I'm gonna paint the background again. Now I'm going to make it more uh, solid. Let me see. What if I make it darker? Hmm. Yeah, a little, well, no, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna knock down this color a little bit. I'm gonna add a touch of orange. And let's add some water to spread this color. I see the background is more bluish, uh, you know, what I'm uh, just thinking if I make the background just the same kind of bluish with the blue that I have here, maybe, you know, it's going to be like too much. That's why I'm knocking down this and I'm thinking about making this darker because I want to see, uh, you know, I see the photograph, that's okay, I see the face, I see the background, but I think if I darken up the background, I want to see more light on the face. Hello Sharon. Hello farm boy. Hola Juan Carlos. Hello Raju. Ra or Rahu, sorry. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna paint. I'm going to continue with the background here. But I like the blue, yeah. But for sure, I like the blue. I need to make it darker in some areas, for example, here. The value is not the same.
Hello, Garu. Just thinking right now, you know, I'm thinking about making this color a little bit darker. But you hear some, some voices. Those are my neighbors. I, I just, uh, I, I was, you know, I was painting on a on a room that I was kind of at the bottom of the house. Now. Uh, I moved, you know, to a room that is pretty close to the door. Sometimes just people just stop and speak. Oops. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna work on the face now. Again, I mean the drawing. Because uh, I I I think I think the drawing is good, you know, but uh, I need some details. Yeah? Orange and black. I just need brown. Uh, Mari saying for me works. Oh, hello, oh, oh Enrique. Así es. Ricky is, I mean, is saying that the result looks just like pretty alike. It doesn't matter if I paint with oils or acrylic. But, maybe it could be. Mario is saying, for me, it works fine. At the end, uh, at the, in the end of the day, are complementary colors. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Complementary colors, yeah, that's going to work pretty good. Just, it's pretty common harmony okay just we gotta be sure about proportion if we just paint something too a, a lot of blue and a lot of orange you know that's not gonna be okay yeah, if we got a lot of orange and a little bit of blue yeah that's gonna work or or vice versa Gary saying you have an ear to paint today yeah <laughs> uh, hello Bruno Uh, here uh, are you working with oil or acrylics? I got a question on okay, term 1957 acrylic, yeah, it's acrylic, acrylic, and, and, and just water, okay. Eyebrow here is kind of halfway from the, I mean, the eyelash is halfway from the eyebrow to the nose. Just there. Okay, it's aligned with the other eye. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think the distance from here, from the, the bridge of the nose to the tear duct, is the same distance from the tear duct to the corner of the eye. Yeah? How tilted is the nose for to get uh, to know how tilted is the nose that works pretty good when I use a brush I put it on top of the photograph and I move it here. That's exactly what uh, I used to do when I paint from life. I'm not gonna blend that much today because uh, you know I want uh, 
I want this uh, kind of, uh, I want to see the brush strokes, a little bit of the, the effect of the brush strokes. Why? Just because I want. <laughs> uh, hello, Stephen Doyle. Will this be available to watch back later so we can go through it and our own pace to learn from? Yeah, of course. Yeah, usually uh, the video stays on. You know, you uh, go back to my channel. You're gonna see that there are videos like from a couple of years ago, and I keep them just there, and I kind of keep them, you know, for I don't know for as long as as I'm allowed to do it. Yeah. And the same uh, ev everywhere, you know. I was speaking about YouTube, but the same on Instagram. You all can share the videos, yeah. which that would be pretty nice. And of course, if you like what I do, press the like button. That helps a lot. Hello, okay, Enrique. Uh, Pregunta, pinto retratos en óleo y en acrílico. Uh, Enrique is saying that he's, he doesn't like to paint with acrylics because dry too fast. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to blend, I would tell you to just paint with oils. Or maybe pick up some, some medium. Yeah. Those uh, I have I have seen a video I have heard some people speaking about this golden acrylics I think that's the the brand golden somebody help me out with this uh, golden I think is yeah I forget the uh, is I don't know the, the name but they dry kind of pretty slow pretty cl close even to oil paint I mean not that maybe not that close but pretty slow to just to have enough time for blending. Because if you know that's gonna be difficult blend definitely with acrylics. Sometimes I blend, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just like the brush strokes. Yeah. Like like here for example, I love this. I'm gonna keep those brush strokes. I'm gonna just continue working on top of on top of those. You know obviously every brush stroke is uh, that I lay down on the face. I do it because I'm trying to fix a mistake that I see. Like for example, this should be lighter or darker or a different color. The only, the only problem, for example, the, the good thing for practicing, you know what, is that we we gotta mix a lot, of, a, lot a lot. For example, here, do you think the brush stroke is good? Obviously not. No, it's, it doesn't have the right value. It's too light. There, how is gonna fix it? You know, maybe you hurry up and just clean it, wipe off with no. Maybe paper towel or with, or with a wet brush. Yeah. You let it dry, you gotta mix the color again. Which is pretty good, you know. Stay a little bit and lay down a brush stroke.
מתחיל. אוקיי, תודה רבה, אבלין, גולדן אופן, יא יא, אתה עושה את הגוונס. או גארי סוג'סטין כאן סלו דרי בלנדינג ג'ל מדיון. זה מספיק טוב. הלו מרים. היי, אם מישהו יש לך סוג'סטין, פשוט תכתבי את זה, כי אתה יודע. היי, אנחנו צריכים... We should share the knowledge we have. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do here. I remember a teacher, the School of Art, he used to work just with acrylics. You know, and he got a lot of blending. A lot of blending. For him, it was just blending and... I'm speaking about 20 years ago. I don't think at that time existed some kind of golden open acrylics. Uh, but the thing that he used to do that because he was allergic. And it looks like he couldn't work with oil paints. Okay. Obviously that's a good reason. Obviously, the other, the, the other way to do it without any, any gel or any medium, just, just work really fast, you know. And what I do, I have done a few times, for example, if I paint this, I can just spray water on top to keep it a little bit wet, to have enough time, let's say, to mix a lighter color. I'll put it next to that one. I'm going to clean my brush and blend. Yeah, still wet. Okay. Okay, I wet the brush again. Again, I take out the excess of water like this and I blend again. For example, here, maybe I don't want that highlight to be that sharp. So I wet a brush and I go on the edge. I think that's, that's good for a blending. You know, if you want to blend more, pick up a round brush and you repeat the process.
Oh, qué bueno, Miriam. Miriam está diciendo aquí que está disfrutando del paso a paso. Enjoying the process, the step, step, process. Mary is saying, to be honest, I don't see the point of pushing oil drying faster or to slow down the calyx. This is the nature of each material and we have to use it accordingly. Yeah, yeah, very good. Gary saying here, I have a golden brand retarded, but I don't like it. I don't like it as much as the blending gear. Okay. Yeah. Somebody knows about about maybe new you know maybe somebody wants to see me trying some of those materials. I mean for, yeah. for me, you know, I kind of um uh I don't like to try new things, I mean. But we're okay. Definitely obviously I I I should, you know. In order to teach, in order to share more things on the channel. Okay. I want some contrast here. I need to light up the background here. That's too light. I think it's too light, but I'm just gonna continue painting. Let's see if that works.
Punch my opponent. Uh, can you recommend the best brush to use to get finer and smaller details? Oh, yeah, I mean the smaller brushes I have are these liner brushes, synthetic brushes, uh, uh this one. Okay, um, this number double zero or zero, they are pretty good. Okay, about the brand, I don't think that's important, they're pretty cheap brushes. I, I got a set of six brushes for kind of two dollars. They are pretty cheap. You know, uh, I usually if I, I buy these brushes on uh, there are some uh, more than stores that sell things for like art materials, like art store is isn't like uh, now like to say that as art is art store too, but they sell more for crafts, okay, more than for painters for uh, I don't know if the, the word is right craft. Uh, see, uh, let me check out maybe I'm saying something wrong. Craft, yeah, like craft, craftsman thing, you know. Craft. Yeah. And they are pretty cheap. They work pretty good. Pretty pointy. Okay. Now, uh, remember about materials. Uh, the 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 set that I think that works pretty good and it's not that cheap and it has some you know are the ones that listed uh, uh I don't I don't I didn't list it those one on here but I got a list uh that is in Amazon okay uh, I'm gonna put the link as soon as I finish up the the session yeah, and one brush that I've been using that's pretty nice that I found here, you know, because, uh, I see I found it here because my dad used to live here in this house. And, okay, where is it, where is it? It's a brush that says, uh, for, for painting nails. Let me show you all. One second, one second, here it is. One second, one second. It's broken, but I hope this what I'm gonna show you works. Oh no, I found, I found it! I found it. Look at this one. Look at this beauty. It says nail art. Pretty nice. Definitely, this is not for painting oils, but it's a brush. It's a synthetic brush. The hair is pretty nice, pretty pointy, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty sure those brushes you can find those brushes everywhere. I mean, you know that I live in Peru, South America. Uh, basically, what I find on that art store is the, obviously, with with some exceptions, it's kind of the same that we find everywhere. Be careful with the blue. I love it, but if I start adding more and more, because I want to do that, maybe I'm gonna put a conflict on my painting between the orange and the blue. Mm. adding light blue here for the highlights oh oh 
Oh, yes. I mean, sorry about here. Somebody on Instagram is telling me about the palette. Yeah, you know, I'm live on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> yeah, if somebody wants to see my palette, you can just you gotta go to YouTube. This is my channel. This channel is for acrylics. You know, the name is Acrylic, acrylic Paintings by Renzo. Yeah. The point, the thing is that because of the format, the orientation of the, the camera on Instagram, you know, I cannot kind of uh, put the whole thing because I think that's going to just show a really small portrait. Okay, let's see, I need pure orange. Thank you, thank you, Antar. Now what I'm trying to do here is knocking down the color here. Yeah, I see the color is orangey, mostly orangey, but knocking down here is to keep the color here. Yeah? Uh, because, I mean, t too much contrast with the blue, that I think that, that would be uh, just too much. Yeah. Basically knocking down the contrast. No, I'm thinking like, hey, you know, you have here a lot of blue. The neck is maybe too orangey. Let's knock down. Let's knock down the, you know, that. Now, at the same time, the face is kind of orangey. You gotta keep that color. Add more orange. Where? Well, it's here. Yeah. Then that way, you can get away with uh, more intense color on the face. Because by comparison, this one is gonna be you know, more saturated. Okay. Oh, thank you, Marius. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, Wajaba is asking me, have you grown to love acrylics more, more, or is oil still keen? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, you know, uh, I would try acrylic, watercolor. I mean, I, you, I got, you know, I got my main channel, Renzo Art. You, you all can find their pastels, paintings, and some acrylics too. I would love to try more. I love, I love, to, I would love. I mean, I know there are so many things that I won't be able to. I know especially one material that I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's watercolor. I, I, I find that pretty difficult. I'm going to try it. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see me try it. Even if I'm going to be able to, to master it, but I will. You know, it's in my head like for a long time, and I think each material has its own things, beauty. I won't put any anyone on top of anyone. Now, if I gotta speak about history, about things, obviously, I could say, hey, oil your paint is the king, because it's been around more like a lot of time, you know. Maybe more than a thousand or two thousand years. Yeah. 
aqui. Sorry that I'm coughing. I, I, I'm saying the same on every video, you know, I'm allergic. And if you check out my channel, you're gonna just listen to me coughing maybe for the next month. I'm doing okay, I don't feel bad, I don't know. It's just an allergic. That's kind of the normal process when somebody's allergic. When you got you know, I got I got I got sick and like from like every four or five years I got sick and I can't stop just coughing for the next month that's the good thing that just happened doesn't happen so often I don't care about that anymore it's just, not, it's just normal but maybe it could be annoying yes so 21 Uh, somebody's asking me if I have painted a self-portrait. Not yet. I will. Allergic is... Uh, whatever is telling me allergic, allergic to what? I don't know. Mia <laughs> uh, me, me pregunta esta clase está en YouTube, eh, en YouTube y en Instagram. Yeah, is, is this a video is in Instagram and YouTube? Yeah, it is. In Facebook. Think about speaking about. I mean, to answer the question about the allergic thing, I mean, the doctor told me that I have to they gotta run a test to know what I'm allergic to, and I didn't do the test for years, you know, because as soon as I, I stop this, I just it's gonna be maybe the next four, two, three, four years that usually I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, Gary's asking me, what if you find out you're allergic to paint? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why I don't want to take that test. You know, she told me that, yeah, with this test, you will know for sure what you're allergic to. But definitely it's not to paint, painting or oil paints or anything like that, because I've been painting for 30, 40 years, 30 years and... Yeah, I mean, almost 40 years, and 
And I'm doing okay, you know, I never feel anything. You know. Yes. Pretty good for me. The only thing that has changed, and I gotta change that for sure, that I have moved, let's say, the space that I have here for paint. It was in a ventilated uh, room, and now it's in a, in a room that just has, has a small window. And that's for sure something that I gotta change. I gotta change it, maybe I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I've been just kind of, you know, postponing that to do it. Yes. And I, I shouldn't die anymore. Because that's for sure, that's for everybody. We gotta paint on a ventilated space. Guayabis is saying, Pintas al Lolio un dormitorio o estudio? No, it's not, it's just a, a, a room on the house. Oh, Guayabis is saying, probably why I want to get better acrylics because they don't need ventilation like oil vase paint. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I would suggest like, you know, get some ventilation anyway. Mm. I'm gonna make it darker here. I got cerulean blue here. Let's see if I can use it. Yeah. Let's see if I can just put this color here. Mm -hmm. oh, no, let's see. like it, yeah, I like it.
I'm just trying to soften some edges. Thinking, thinking, thinking about. Yeah. Okay. What I'm thinking is, uh, for example, I got contrast here. Yeah. Yeah. I got. A, I added a little bit of contrast here. Yeah. What if I just knock down here and just kill the edge here like that? A little bit sharp here, but then it got lost there. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking about edges, and you know that obviously I cannot blend now. To get softer edges you know the only thing that I can do is basically go with paint in this case that I got a little bit of a uh, let's say a more loose brush stroke I gotta kind of go on top of the, the paint and kind of break up the edge okay now mm, what about the blue here? I think it's better, but yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit uh, this here. I'm gonna just knock down the blue. Okay, a bit. Use a lot of water, just like uh, glazing. Okay. Tiny touch, okay. Just, just there.
to continue Addison Glaciers. Okay, let's see. Obviously, a glaze of blue on top of orange is going to knock down the orange. Okay. Okay, I need an accent. Glaces, uh, something here. I gotta do something here. I, I like it, no, but I think it's just too bright. But let's see. I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work here to see the contrast first. Now, another thing that I can do <coughs> with acrylics is just scumbling. Okay. Okay, Anter, thank you. Oh, I like to see you paint out alongside your family of painters. <laughs> see who's better. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, my dad is a painter. My mom, my aunt, an uncle. Oh my God, I don't know why everybody just chose to, to, to paint. I don't know why they they just chosen to paint mm. okay oh i was thinking about some oh I, oh I was saying this got distracted sorry i'm mixing ultramarine blue and black no water okay i'm doing this almost no paint okay that's dry brush or scumbling if you like it, perfect. The thing is that you're gonna see some texture. Okay, if somebody paints with this, I'm gonna zoom in, okay? Okay, yeah, I, can, I cannot show you, show that, but uh, there's some texture. It's because of the tooth of the canvas. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of water.
paper towel. a glaze of orange Move it to the mouth. I need to buy a lizard crimson. I forget to do it. Mixing blue, touch of red and white. Okay, I think it's enough for today's session. I would love to work more on the painting, but you no, know, I don't think that I can make it better. Or, you know, what I think is I just need to rest my eyes and check out the painting later. A highlight here. Too bright. Okay, need to step back. Mm. You know, I, I want to do something more, but I just, I, I don't know why I, I, I feel like I, I gotta just add more color. Yeah, but 
at the same time, uh, I know that maybe more color is gonna be too much. It's not like a painting with full of color is gonna work, always work. Yeah, at the same time, I'm thinking that maybe to show more of this orange, orange, blue, I uh, should basically knock down completely the background. Yeah, I already have color here. I don't need that much, that much, you know. And I'm thinking out loud, okay? Uh, so many things that I think I don't do it. Yeah, but let's see if that maybe could be a good idea. I'm just gonna add a glaze and knock down here. What do you think? <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, it works for the painting. Mm, you know, <clears throat> Hello, Monique. Hmm. is too bright. Yeah, the last thing that I'm gonna do is just to show you uh, how we can change the color a little bit more. Uh, that would be like for example you think you want to change a complete color. You know, you think for example uh, my painting, if I'm gonna make the face more yellowish Okay, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna glaze. If your painting maybe is too yellowish or too reddish or orangey, you can just glaze to change it to knock it down. To, okay. No, maybe that's gonna that's not gonna be okay for the painting, it's gonna make it too yellowish. But I'm gonna do it just to show you. 
okay to show you all just yellow a lot of water you put down that and you spread it it is gonna change the color just pretty pretty transparent layer and then you repeat okay because you gotta just wait a few minutes to see if that's working you repeat that change the color again and again you can just try it so many times Just doing this to show you. I don't think my painting needs that. I see that the, the the photograph is more yellowish, but I think I like it more the color because of the blue. You know, a little bit of violet that I have here. I think I like it more like the way it is. Okay, but you know, in painting it's always the same. You know, like somebody lo loves a painting, somebody don't. Okay, uh, let me see what else I can do. Adding pure red here, just a touch. Okay, I think that's okay for today. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to press the like button. Gary saying here, I find it difficult to return to a painting after I think it is completed and retouch or make additions or corrections. Yeah, sometimes yeah, sometimes that happens to that happens to me a lot, I mean I gotta say. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I think that's enough for today. Okay, that's it. 
Bye, everybody. Take care, you all. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Bye.